Being in a Zoom meeting, go to the bottom menu and click on the Share Screen button here. A new window is opened. On the top menu, you will see these three options, Basic, Advanced, and Files. Let's click on Advanced. In this new window, let's click on Video. Now on the lower left part, you have these two options, Share, Sound, and Optimize for Video Clip. The first option lets you select between mono or stereo sound. The Optimize option lets you share your video in the best quality available. Now just click on Share here. If this is the first time doing this, you will see this message. A plugin is required to share a video file. Click on the Install button and the plugin will be installed. After installing the plugin, let's click again on the Share screen option, then on Advanced, and then on Video. When you click on the Share button, a file explorer is open allowing you to select the video you want. In my example, I choose the number two and click on the open button. Now the video player is open. Here you can click on the different controls we have available like play, volume, or you can decide if you want a full screen or not. On this horizontal line, you can slide to the exact minute you want to start your video. If you want to pause your video, you can do it here, or by clicking on the pause button. The audience will see the paused video. When you click on resume share, the video will restart. If you want to stop sharing your video, just click the X button here, or on the top menu, you can click on the stop share button here. And that's it. An important thing to know is that when sharing your video, your audience will not see movements of your cursor, resizing of the video, or additional windows you may have open. Your audience will only see the video you are sharing. Go and enjoy these useful tools in Zoom. Burn to Learn is working to help you understand the changes in technology as they happen. Stay in the know. Subscribe today.